we're seeing heartbeat tones again after the switch. Things are looking good. Uh, React tones back again. Vehicle reports entry interface. At this time, it will begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back to heartbeat tones. We are standing by for guided start and start of guided entry. <laughs> Nav can see the entry in the atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle has just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. This time, the vehicle is being to steer its way to the target. That is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Flight GDSA. GDSA flight, go. We are processing data from Odyssey. Bank reversal 2 is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All bank right. reversal 2 complete. <laughs> Copy bank reversal 2 complete. Thanks. Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there we increases go. to Bank respectable level. There we go. And we have ICDP. Okay, copy. And visualization is updated. The adventure heading alignment. There we go. At this time, Curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the error and we should be heading toward the target. Flight EDL, TDS warning is okay. Would that be? Power and on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the Bebby instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. <coughs> Vehicles reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignments. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right. And EDL Ops, Odyssey Systems on EDL Ops. Flight EDL, we've got some Tweeta warnings. It is in battle short mode, so it should power through them. Director of Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We have lost, act we have lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Signal to Odyssey is still strong. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, wrist mode dynamics. Wrist mode is nominal. We are nine kilometers and descending. Eight active. Valid range. Net filter converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. Now to of eight kilometers. Feet shield step has separated. We've found the ground. Expand tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're standing by to prime the Emily engines in preparation for powered flight. We're 
continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters, vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. Start enabled, standing by for back shell separation. Signal Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. Vehicles continuing to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you feel calm? Configure. Rhythm is stable. Rhythm is stable. We're down to 90 meters per second. UHF is good. Yes. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> Curiosity will take us.